Hey, what's happening, everybody? Got another little project here. Did a scrap running clean out job. Besides a bunch of other projects that surprisingly got running way too easy. I picked up this old reel mower. Rollers are all rotten off. I can't even tell what brand it is. Standard model 18, 6418. Then the front decal is so worn off I can't quite tell what it is it's actually more clear in the camera I'll have to look at that later but we got us a nice little two horse Briggs I'm gonna start off first and foremost by pulling out that spark plug making sure the cylinder looks alright it's got compression but also the main thing is seeing if we got spark because nothing else is worth bothering with unless we got spark and if we don't have spark motors coming off of the mower Mower's just going in the trash. It's pretty rusted up. Wheels are cracked up real bad. It's a later model. If I can tell, this is a 1964. So as far as real mowers are concerned, that's getting there. Once the 60s rolled around, they started going to rotaries more. So let's pull out the spark plug and see what we got. I already have some tools at the ready. Yeah, one-handed. That smells like gas. So she's getting fuel, but she ain't firing. And by process of elimination, we got spark. But we don't have spark. Yet. But we are definitely getting fuel and we have compression. And we have absolutely no spark. So, let's yank it off of here. Go put on the work. Just like that, with the Milwaukee power tools, popped it off in a matter of seconds. Well, 15 minutes. Hopefully the fan ain't making too much noise here. The low setting, I'll turn it just a hair. But she is gonna be a warm one today. So welcome to my pleasure room. And uh, it's an absolute freaking disaster in my garage, as always. But I'm trying to get some stuff done. So, as we checked, we did not have any spark, but just because we're inside now, set you down. Give that a little bit of a twist. Go for some clean steel. Trying to do all this at once by myself. No spark. So, 99.97362% chance that it is going to be the points, as always. So, next step, 716s, pop off the three bolts, pop the cover off, and see what lurks within. Hee hee. Uh huh. Ta da. Alright. Easy enough. And yeah, just a little bit of cobwebs, luckily, no mouse nest. They say we give it the old Camilla Harris treatment and get this all cleaned out here. Perfect. Anyone who doesn't understand that reference is not in U.S. politics. Anyways, so the next thing we gotta do is pull this cover off here and get at the flywheel, get this spinner off, and pop the old flywheel. All right. So, spared you guys the viewing pleasure pulling all the screws off here nothing fancy but here's what I do especially if I have a pulley or something on there I don't care about I like to put it directly in the vise because I have somewhere in my pile of stuff is the actual flywheel tool, uh, tool I don't know where in the hell I have it so what I do is I just put the whole crankshaft right in the freaking vise shouldn't have to worry about it then and somewhere in this pile of junk, 
it was right in front of me. The old hammer. Give her a couple taps. You really should be using a, a punch so you don't hit the fins. But I don't care that much. Ew. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to grab a punch here. Get that taken care of quick. There we go. Sometimes you just got to suck it up and use the right tool for the job. Like that. Judging by the little bit of copper, I've never seen somebody's been in there before. I can only wonder why. So, next step is going to be to take a nice little pry bar, get it underneath the flywheel, and then give her a little tap on the end of that shaft. Or, if you're like me, you just literally touch it and it freaking comes right loose. Alright. Key stayed in. Yeah, somebody's been in here before. Hopefully that makes my life a little bit easier. And usually I've been told by old timers you never put never sees on the actual tapers. The old magnetic cups. Keep an eye on your junk. Let's see what we got behind door number one. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of corrosion. Nothing too terrible. How about we clean those suckers up? They'll work like new. You can see there, a little bit of green. Otherwise, it all looks damn near perfect inside there. Let's do a little bit of cleaning slap it back together. Alright, did a little bit of sandpapering. Look at them, looking nice and clean. Pop the cover back on, put the flywheel in, and hopefully we got us some spark. Alright, and I cheated a little bit here. I put everything back together before I actually finished up the next segment, but got back together, got that tightened up, flywheel's on, keys installed. I also decided to take and sand the bottom of the coil as well as the magnet side of the flywheel. If you're already taking it all apart, it never hurts to do that. Now, let's cheat a little bit, see if we got spark. Oh yeah. We got spark it. We got spark. All right, sweet. Guess the next thing would be, let's, oh, look at inside the piston there, it's actually pretty clean. Let's uh, get the spark plug back in, get the shroud back on, get her mounted up to the table here, and give it a shot, see what happens. Alright, well we got spark. She's mounted down to the table, very half-ass, one bolt and a pin, just to keep it from flying off. We have absolutely no throttle control other than to pull on this little thing here. Let's see if we can give her just a little bit. Nope. Screw it. Let's go. Old choke. Nice and cold. Hey, hey, hey. It's a half choke.
a little bit of a clattering coming from the recoil. She fired up. She sounds pretty darn good. Let's see if we can get a little bit more throttle out of this thing though. Here, look at that. Hold on. All right, and I turned my vise into a throttle. So that's idle. That's full. Let's go about eh, one third idle. Above idle. recoil is starting to make a whole bunch of racket. You're gonna make me look bad in front of all the people? In front of all my friends and family? She's crabby all of a sudden. But hey, got it running. Later on, I'm going to do some cleaning on this. There's a few methods you can really get these original paint jobs to pop out and get rid of all that rust. And do it without actually ruining the original decals. But that's it. 1964 Briggs & Stratton. Two horsepower. Running once again. Thanks for watching. All right, I lied. We're not done yet. Look at that milkshake. I wonder if all that noise I was hearing wasn't actually from the recoil, but from this, I don't know, caramel mocha something or another mocha choca bullshit coming out of the freaking crankcase. Well, let's do an oil change quick. One more thing.